All right, welcome back. So now that we're done creating our geometry, we're going to be learning how to use the revolve feature in Mastercam Solids to create our revolve boss of our chess piece. So again, I'm going to put this in my top view so I can see it a little bit better. And let's go ahead and learn how to use the revolve feature. Okay, so come over here to the left side and click on the revolve solids feature. Now the dialog box will appear. You want to keep it in 3D and then make sure that chain is selected. Now I'm going to exit this real quick because I want to actually switch colors. I want to make my solid a different color, okay? And not only that, I also want to create a different uh, level. So to create a different solid or a different color, come over here to this button right here, left click on it, and let's go ahead and make our part in blue, okay? And for this one, let's say go ahead and make it a little bit a lighter blue come over here and select blue number 116 and then click on okay and then let's go ahead and change our level to level number two so all you have to do is type in two over here and hit enter so now we're on level number two come over here again under the revolve make sure chain is selected and then come over here and select your part so i'm going to chain my entire part all you have to do is select one piece of it and master cam will chain that entire feature once you're done with it, click on OK. And now it's going to ask you, always pay attention to this dialog box, select line to be used as an axis of rotation. Well, obviously I want all of this to ro rotate around this line right here. Okay, this is going to be the middle line that my whole chest piece will rotate around. So go ahead and click on that line. And there you go. Now I'm going to put this in, I'm going to just move it up a little bit so you so can see it a little bit more. I All I do when I move a piece like this is hold down the scroll button and move it freely. So there we go, that looks really nice. If I wanna double check it and make sure, now this is just a preview, you haven't accepted anything yet. But with the preview, if you go back to your uh, drawing, you're gonna notice that it is, looks exactly the same. And that's what you want. This is just for you to check and make sure that you have created a part just like you wanted in the drawing. Okay, so we're gonna do revolve, we're going to keep it called revolve and then again for this this is the first time we're creating a solid so there is no cut or add boss you're just going to be creating a solid so revolve chess piece and i'm going to come over here it is a single operation it was a single chain that went all the way around and i'm going to scroll all the way down and then this is for the axis of rotation. If you want to switch the axis of rotation, uh, you can click over here on this arrow and you select another line. Okay, we only have one line of rotation over here, so we're going to keep that the same. You can actually select this line and everything here will rotate around it. So if you want to click on this line and then click over here on that line, you're going to notice that everything will rotate around that bottom edge instead. And you'll kind of get this weird shape right here. Let's go back and select our main line on the right to get our chest piece going. Okay, and then you're going to notice an arrow over here, and this is just the rotation uh, side if you want it rotating this way or that way. Down here, there's going to be a start angle and an end angle. Now, that allows you to actually draw, uh, you know, make the solid. Not You don't have to make it a 360. So if you want to come over here and type in 270, for example, and hit enter okay i think i've typed in 270 i'm going to exit out of this real quick okay go back to the end angle type in 270 hit enter and you're going to notice that it actually cuts a piece of it so i'm going to rotate my part until you see it so there you go so this is what's nice about this so there's a start angle and an end angle and as you increase it, you're going to notice that your chest piece is closing as you get close to 360. And as you switch it, you can see it open. So if you just want to see half of the part, you can type in 180, hit enter, and it will cut half of that part and show a preview of it. You can even uh, start the angle at a different, uh, start angle at a different uh, position. So if I wanted at 45, hit enter, you're going to see that the chest piece now starts at a different position. Let's keep that always on 0 and 360. Hit enter. There you go. This is your chest piece revolved all the way around itself. 
and that's going to be your last option for the solid revolve after you're done with that click on ok to accept it there you go and this is your piece so you can hit clear colors just so it can clear any colors that you don't want and there you go you've selected your piece it rotated all the way around and you've created a revolve uh, base of your geometry to create our chest piece that you have in front of you right there so that is how you use the revolve uh, feature in MasterCam X8.